The fashion industry is one of the most significant industry in the world. However, it is also the second biggest polluter in the world. So, what is the reason? The answer is fast fashion. The fast fashion industry is responsible for producing 20% of global wastewater and emitting 1.2 billion tons of carbon dioxide every year. I buy a couple of times a month fast fashion, and I spend about a couple of hundred pounds each month as well.、Um, yeah, so every trip I buy maybe three or four things, so a few tops, something like that. But、um, yeah, every trip I would buy maybe one to two things, usually in the sale, so even cheaper fashion. Not too often. I mean, today I've just bought some jeans, but generally I try not to buy it more than like something maybe once every month or two months, maybe. However, the truth is. The British shoppers only wear 70% of what in their wardrobe, and throws out 70 kilograms of textile waste every year. Izzy is 22 now, but she has stopped buying fast fashion clothes for more than four years. I understand why people fa- stop fast fashion, especially people who don't have a lot of money and end up shopping fast fashion for things because of that. And I see that a lot of young people, my age and younger. Um, are a bit addicted to shopping, and they think that they constantly need the newest thing, and they need to look like their favorite influencer who's wearing a new outfit every day.、Um, it frustrates me, but I also don't think that it's my responsibility to like tell them what they're doing, that what I think they're doing is wrong. Um, fast fashion is this.、Uh, well, the fashion industry is the second biggest polluter in the world. And I want to avoid supporting something that's that big of an issue to the environment. So then, when I was about eighteen, and I sort of、yeah. started looking into ethical fashion, I transitioned towards stopping buying any fast fashion. However, buying secondhand clothes is not as easy as shopping for fast fashion. When you're looking secondhand, obviously everything's only one piece in one size, so you're not always going to find what you're looking for. You have to change the way you look at things, and if you're not sort of in the mid-size range, so from a UK size sort of like eight to about twelve, it's quite hard to find clothes secondhand because you're relying on people giving their clothes there, and there's not because fast fashion doesn't cater to plus-size people. Secondhand fashion, it's harder to as well. In addition to insisting buying second-hand clothes, Izzy has been learned how to fix her clothing. I think that I'm giving clothes a second life. Like somebody's already worn these clothes, loved these clothes, and now I'm getting to do it again. I'm stopping them going into、um, landfill, and also it makes me look at clothes differently. Where I might not have bought something before if it didn't quite fit me, or if it had maybe a hole in it. Whereas now I think, okay, this is cheap. This is second-hand. It doesn't really matter if I don't use it. Because I can always give it back to charity or to another friend, but it makes me think. Okay, I'm gonna go home and try and fix this or make this fit me better, rather than just not getting it at all because it's not quite perfect. There used to be a time when buying secondhand was nothing to be proud of, but nowadays there are more people like Izzy starting to realize the negative impact of fast fashion. So maybe. It's the best time to get some second-hand clothes for ourselves and take responsibility for environmental protection. <laughs>